I'll talk a little bit about teenagers. Joining us now is Keith Bergeron, who works at the Bishop Brady High School and writes for the Parable for the Diocese of Manchester. Keith, thanks so much for being with us. Um, so we read your insightful article in Parable Magazine uh, for the Diocese of Manchester. Uh, tell us about the article, what it's about, and what made you write it. Well, Gary, Gary Bouchard from Parable Magazine contacted me to write it, and I was like, sure, I'll write an article for Parable Magazine. So I wrote the article, sent it in, and then I was like, wait a second. I don't want that to, I don't want to, I don't want to submit an article to anywhere because I'm, I was a little worried about, you know. So now you're panicking. Article. Now I'm panicking. <laughs> and I call him and actually we're like 20 minutes into the conversation and I realize he's in Florida on vacation with his kids. And, <laughs> but he's taking time out to, to talk to me and then he said something to me. He said, he was like, Keith, don't, don't hide your light under a bushel. And then at that moment I was like, that's exactly what my mom used to say to me all the time about you know, me and my brothers about everything, like don't hide your light. So at that moment I was like, all right, you know what? And I told him the story about that, and he was like, great. That's, so I decided to write it. So were you nervous? Were you nervous about putting yourself out there? What were you nervous about? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm a pretty private person, so, you know, um, putting yourself out there, um, you know, you put the wrong word in the wrong spot, mm -hmm. and then people think something different, and that's pretty much was my main concern, okay. you know. Not and now you're on that. live TV. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so people know, in case they don't know, Parable Magazine is the, the magazine of the Diocese of, of Manchester. It's a, a publication of faith. A uh, Catholic who publishes our magazine here at Catholic TV in Manchester is one of the many dioceses across this country that has a, a faith publication, and I'm so glad that they were able to feature your good work. Speaking of your work, uh, what is your role at Bishop Brady? Uh, yeah, at Bishop Brady, I'm the dean of students, um, and there's you know many roles that come with that. Uh, Sounds scary. Yeah, it, yeah, right. Well, some parts of it are not so fun, and some parts are fun. You know, discipline, well, discipline, yeah. discipline. Um, you know, advisor to the ping pong club. <laughs> basketball coach, um, rock and mineral advisor, student council. So those are the fun things, you know, doing all this stuff with the kids like that. But then, then it comes back to, you know, in high school, everyone has moments that aren't so, so great. And that's when you can really, ha you really have an opportunity to, to learn. Um, and those are the moments I cherish, even though it's not, it's probably the toughest day in, in that particular student's life in high school. It's the opportunity at that moment to help them get to the, where they need to be. And, and Bishop Brady is in Concord, New Hampshire. It's co-ed? It's co-ed, correct. How many students in the entire school, um, approximately? About 310. 310, yeah. so a you nice medium-sized Catholic yeah, school. Okay. Yeah. So when people think of teenagers, and, and I have teenagers, uh, they always think of the social media. And I, you see it, they're on the phones, they're, they're on their iPads. They're, what's your experience with all of that? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is it in between? Yeah, I think, you know, social media has definitely its positives and, it, and its negatives, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, it does connect us in ways we've never get, been connected before, but um, it also kind of keeps us distant, too. You know, you know, if, if uh, we don't allow schools, um, we don't allow phones in school. So, um, you know, if well, good for you. after school, though, you know, you go into the CAF and you'll have, like, 40 kids waiting for their rides, and, like, a bunch of them are just, mm -hmm. they're sitting right next to each other, texting the kid right next to the, mm -hmm. each other, but, and they're communicating, but they're not, they're not communicating. You know, and I think um, there's some real positives to social media, and then there's some drawbacks, too. Yeah, they don't, they don't talk, or they will not call each other to talk on a phone. They will text each other. And I've seen it where kids will come over and visit, and they'll be sitting side by side just texting one another. But here's the pot calling the kettle black. He will email or text me from his office across the hall. <laughs> That's so. because he's so busy, by the right. way, just, just so you know, he's so busy. But then there's a, you can evangelize through new media and do kids take that opportunity? Is, it, is there an opportunity there? Yeah, I, I believe there is. You know, um, you can tweet, you can Snapchat, you can um, go on Facebook and, and Instagram and all those types of things. And, you know, it, it really is what you make it. You know, you can make it what you want. Um, and a lot of times, like you were talking about, you know, kids will, instead of like talking, they'll do like a quick, like, Five second snap, and then they send it, and it's gone. Mm -hmm. And that's their, and that's them talking to their friend is their snap. They're not actually Snapchat. communicating. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. See, I know some of these terms. What do you think of that? <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed. <laughs> now, uh, compliment uh, to you, Keith. I mean, you're not that old yourself, and so uh, it must be great uh, for the kids, for the young women and men there at Bishop Brady, uh, to have you as their dean of discipline. And also, it's a Catholic high school. So how do you use your, your own youth, your own experience, the fact that you grew up in New Hampshire, the fact that you have that same, you share that same faith, how do you use that to really make it uh, an environment where their Catholic faith can develop? I think, you know, the most important thing in any relationship is just to be honest and genuine. Um, and, and kids, you know, teenagers, adults, young adults, you know, they can see right through anything that's not real. 
So just being genuine and honest and real is to me the most important. You know, if, if, if knitting's your thing and, and you're honest about it and you talk about it, then like kids can see that and they can appreciate that, you know? Um, same thing in relationship with God. Uh, if you're honest and genuine, um, they can see that you are, you know, and it's, and then that's definitely a huge step in the right direction to any relationship. How did you know he took up knitting? Okay, just stop. Okay, I I would knit. I don't. You're a basketball coach, though, I hear. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah this year was first year for a uh, head coach of basketball at Brady. How'd you do? We did pretty well. Um, you know, we were ten and eight. We made it to the. You have a tournament, right? We did. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. made it, and um, we you know it was a great game. We lost by seven, but you know the the steps to get there, the practices, those that was the best times. You lose his coaching, you know. Just it was definitely <laughs> my fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so with kids today, do we give them enough credit? You know, I say kids, teenagers. Do we give them enough credit of them thinking about God and their faith, or are they thinking much more deeply about this than we know? You know, I, I think it, it depends on the individual. You know, it, it all depends on where people are in their lives. Yeah. Um, you know, you have, you know, this is one of the things, you're, you walk through the halls and, and, you know, I think one of the biggest gifts you can give someone is a smile, because you never really know where they are in their day. You don't know where they came from, what, what's going on, um, and, you know, it could be their birthday, it could be like the worst morning of their, of their high school, you know, of their whole life. Um, so I think like meeting them where they are is so important. You know, some kids have wonderful relationships with God and some kids, you know, push God away because they're angry. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you, you go, go to meet the people where they are, I think, you know, people can appreciate that. Give them a smile. I love it. Well, Keith, thanks so much for being with us today, for, for joining us all the way from New Hampshire, which isn't that far away, I guess. And best of luck next year with the basketball team. All right. Thank I'm you. I'm somewhat too. of a basketball fan. All right. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>